wasn't really expecting to kick off our our start to the island this way, but it's an adventure, so here we go. Good morning from Greece. We officially made it yesterday afternoon. When we got in, we were so tired that we just went and got food, and then we came back and went to bed. I'm extremely tired today because last night I saw a bug on our bed, which was detrimental to my mental health because then I felt like I couldn't sleep in it, so I didn't go to bed till about 2.30 or so. It's just a little bit past 8 right now, and we're gonna try to hit up the Acropolis. And luckily for us, we even have a view of it from our balcony. That's where we're headed today. Today is also a very big day for another reason, but a much more sad reason. It is Ben's last full day here. He was the very first person to come and visit us on this trip, and now he's headed back to Colorado. So, uh, Ben, when you get around to watching this, we love you so much, and we're so happy that you came, and we're gonna see you again soon. By the way, in case you were wondering, our B&B here in Greece is not nearly as cool as the one in Budapest. It'll do, though. So we're at this old school amphitheater, it's the Odeon, um, and it's still in use today, so it's actually really cool because they actually still come here for concerts due to the acoustics and stuff, so I mean, what an awesome place to come listen to a concert. Friendly reminder to avoid the tour groups at all costs. It was packed wall to wall in there, and it is so hot right now. Just go early, just do it. And travel during shoulder season, don't be us. So we just left the Acropolis. It's about 98 degrees, and I'm not talking about the boy band. We're gonna go get some brunch and siesta a little bit. So we took a quick siesta, and now we're on our way to dinner for Ben's last night. So Ben has finally left our trip. He was here for 16 days and went with us to five countries total. And Ben, when you watch this, just know that we miss you very much and we had so much fun. But now it's time to get ready to move to the Greek islands officially. So we're on the move again, this time off to the Greek islands. So due to two 10 minute waits in the metro, our uh, buffer time is completely used up. We've got six minutes to get to the port basically and then get on our boat. We officially made it after a sprint. I'm using a fan, can't see. <laughs> it's a little warm in here. You have to wear a mask the whole time, but we're gonna fan ourselves for a little bit. So we're on Blue Star Ferries, and you can book them online, which is what we did before, because we knew it was gonna be busy, but you can also just show up to the port, which is what I've done in the past, buy a ticket at any of the counters, and then you just talk, kind of tell them where they wanna go, and certain companies will only uh, service certain islands, and they're fast and slow. So we paid a bit of a premium, about 20 euros more, to take the fast one, which is about three and a half, three hours and 50, five minutes to go straight to Roxos. Otherwise you have to make quite a few stops and it can be up to about seven and a half hours. So it just depends, you know, how much time you're willing to kind of waste on these things um, or spend. Maybe, not, maybe waste is the wrong word. Um, but the tickets are somewhere between about 50 and 70. To be fair, we left it to about the last minute too. And then just make sure that you know what port you're leaving from. When you buy it online, you know, they'll give you a, a ticket that will tell you the port and everything you need to do. So ours was E7 and we made it. Alright, so we're in Noxos and this is our home for the next seven days, uh, but we're not quite there yet. Our lady can't come pick us up because too many people are arriving at once, 
So we volunteered-ish, I guess. She kind of volunteered us to take the bus, which is fun. We'll figure some stuff out and figure out the public transport. So we just arrived at our accommodation on Naxos in Greece. Um, and fun fact, every single time we enter a hotel room, a hostel, a B&B, we use our little UV light to look for bed bugs because better safe than sorry. And today I think we found our first problem. We found bee stains. You don't even need the light to, to see them. We haven't really encountered this before, but I'm thinking better safe than sorry. Wasn't really expecting to kick off our, our start to the island this way, but it's an adventure, so here we go. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna go to a restaurant across the street. We're gonna contact booking.com and see if we can get reimbursed. And we've also contacted the owner of the suites to see if, um, I don't know, we can do anything about this. And there's another room that's in fact clean that we can trust. Um, so wishes luck. I had no idea this would happen this early, but I did know it was coming sometime. So I guess if anything, it's just good life experience. Okay, we just went to a nearby restaurant and um, we got some food. We spoke to the lady that owns the hotel and she assured us that everything was totally fine. She only had good reviews. She would never let this happen because they get it cleaned deeply three times a year. Um, I think we are just very experienced travelers and we know the signs to look for. So I think the question is, do we trust it or not? And I think we're going to go with it's just not worth it. So right now we're trying to figure out if we can get a refund and if we can get a different room for the night. So, yep. Well, I hope you're all enjoying my crazy hair because it's been an insane day. So we ultimately decided, of course, you know, it's not, not gonna be us risking getting bed bugs ever, especially not this early in the trip. So we sat there, we had some lunch. Jeff spent about an hour on the phone with booking.com, which would not give us a refund, even though this was a health and safety issue. Then the person on the phone helping Jeff decided that they needed to call the owner of the hotel, which of course we had already spoken to. She was overall a pretty nice lady, but she was adamant and it wasn't bed bugs, which of course was in her best interest as a business owner, so she refused to give the money back. But then, as we hang up the phone, we decide to just dispute the charge with Chase and go about our day. She finds us at the restaurant and comes in and makes, I would say, a little bit of a scene. But ultimately we just said, look, we have no interest in staying there. We understand it's your business and we respect that. It's not personal, so we went on our way and we were just gonna stop by a couple of hotels to see if there were any available rooms for the night or the next seven nights, which is what our plan is. And the first one we went to was amazing. We were greeted by the owner's mother who offered us fresh lemonade and we got the most modern room available for less than what the other hotel costs. So overall it's a win-win and guys, let's just take a look at how bright white this mattress is because it's beautiful. Uh. Gorgeous! If you out there are experiencing this, just go with your gut, go with your intuition. It is not worth risking anything you have, especially if you might bring it home to your entire house. All right, so update. Everything kind of worked out. We were able to find another place. We actually looked on booking.com and then we just took a taxi over here. We got here and they gave us a great deal. We paid cash and it just kind of goes to show that sometimes, and this is something that I've personally kind of wrestled with while doing this trip is how much advanced planning we want to do. We showed up here, we were able to get a room. It was much cheaper than what it said online. And it also gives you the freedom to come into the place and check it out and then turn it down, which you don't really get with a, with a pre-booking. If you pay for something ahead of time and you get there and you don't like it, tough. You know, a lot of these companies, they're not here to protect you. They're here to make money. So that's something we're kind of going through right now. Booking.com basically said there was nothing they were able to do. So we're going to go through Chase and do a chargeback. So another great plus one for getting a good travel credit card. We have some links on our website. If you want to sign up for the Chase Sapphire Preferred, definitely go get it. It's our favorite. Um, and Chase has always been really good to us. So we'll see what they say. They're open tomorrow. We're going to go into town, uh, grab a much deserved drink, and then probably face plan because we're exhausted now. <laughs> so good night, and we'll catch you in the morning with an update from Chase. We're going to buy the cancellation policy. The issue here is, is not about cancellation. It's about nice so it sounds like they're gonna be able to do it based on an issue of quality it wasn't a cancellation problem it was a quality problem which i completely agree with so it sounds like they basically send a letter and the merchant has 15 days to kind of respond uh which she's going to because yeah but i mean 
I think the issue is trying to fight a bank like Chase. You know, if if they side with me as their customer, um, I, there's no way she has a chance. Makes us feel a lot better because it was pretty expensive. It was one of our longest stays. So being able to get some of that money back uh, will feel really nice. And now we just wait and see. Um, and they're going to credit us back for the money. So whoo, travel credit cards, seriously, sign up for one. They're absolutely worth it. Also, you know, make sure it's an established bank. I know there are attractive like online banks with high rates and stuff like that. But if they're not a large established company, they don't tend to have the same resources that these, you know, behemoths do. Absolutely would recommend.